welcome to With Care. I'm here today with my little assistant, Freddie, my one month old, to demonstrate some safe newborn swaddling. As a midwife and a prenatal and postnatal educator, I get lots of questions from my clients about swaddling, so I thought it was best just to put it in a quick video. The purpose of swaddling really is to calm that newborn startle reflex and also to make our babies nice and cozy and snug and warm, uh, which they often enjoy. But we need to remember ultimately it is an intervention and it's something we're going to have to stop doing at some point and that transition can be difficult down the line. So if your baby doesn't need to be swaddled, you don't need to start. We typically need to stop swaddling at around three months old or the first signs of rolling and that's really really important because if our baby is swaddled with their arms inside and they manage to roll onto their tummy they could then be left face down against the mattress unable to plant their palms on that firm mattress and turn their head to the side so very important again that we are stopping swaddling by the time that our babies are showing us that they're going to start to roll or by around three months old some will come a little bit earlier and some a little bit later so important to follow your baby's cues when we are swaddling, if we are choosing to swaddle, we also want to keep a few key things in mind. We don't want to swaddle tight around the baby's bottom, around their hip area, or pull up on their feet. We want to make sure that they can extend and flex all of their bottom lower half um, without any, any um, fabric holding them back. We also want to make sure that we're swaddling far enough away from their face so we don't have any fabric coming up over it, which could cause issues with suffocation, rebreathed air, you know, concerns about them getting fresh flow of air. We also want to make sure that we don't have our baby overheat because if they're wrapped in a very thick blanket or have a lot of layers underneath, they can get too hot. So we want to go with lightweight clothing underneath appropriate for that time of year in the environment and then a lightweight blanket. That can be a muslin cotton blanket like this, a cotton jersey blanket, or a lightweight flannel blanket. Again, just nothing too thick. The last thing to consider when we are swaddling is that our baby might not be able to give us their feeding cues as well. And so we do want to really keep that in mind, especially if our little one has lost a lot of weight, isn't regaining their weight, having any issues with feeding. You know, we really want to pay attention to those feeding cues. And that tends to be them putting their hands in their mouth. And sometimes if their hand is pinned inside, they're unable to show us that. And that might result in us not giving them as many feedings, which can result in them not having enough energy to feed later. And that can become a little bit of a cycle. So let's Let's make sure that if we are swaddling, we're doing it for you know brief periods of time, not all the time, and that especially if we've got concerns about our baby's feeding, that we might want to avoid swaddling in order to really, really hone in on those feeding cues that they're giving us. Today I'm going to swaddle Freddy using a large cotton muslin blanket, and because these are so large, you've got a few options. When we're swaddling, typically we're going to take one corner and fold it down into a triangle. We can do the small triangle like usual, or because these blankets are so large, I can pull kind of a medium-sized triangle, or I can continue to pull this corner all the way down to the other one and create one large triangle of fabric. Really, it's whatever you prefer. And again, if you've got a smaller blanket, we're just gonna start by folding down one corner into a triangle. We're gonna to take the baby and place the nape of their neck at the flat edge. And it's always easiest to start with a square blanket. Now, we're gonna hold the baby's arms and against their chest. We can let their legs go wherever they want. And we're gonna start by bringing this first edge across the baby's chest. If we're finding it's coming too close to the baby's face, we can always fold down this fabric slightly against their shoulder and then come across. Or we can move the baby slightly up away from the edge of the blanket. But we're gonna bring this across, making sure that the fabric is coming tight across their chest and arms. And we're gonna tuck that in behind the shoulder under the baby's back. We're then going to come up from the bottom. Again, none of this is tight. This is nice and loose down here. We don't want any of this um, to be pulled up. Baby can still extend his legs. And we're going to lay that there. And then we're going to come across from the other side. Again, tight across the shoulders. And because this is such a large blanket, we can continue to go all the way around. If this is smaller, we can tuck it in here. Oh, pretty. So I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to tuck that in for a nice little baby burrito. Are you gonna say hi? There we go. Good job. You can see how the fabric is nice and far away from his face. Oh, and he can still fully extend his legs freely, which is really, really important. Oh, maybe you need a feet now, eh, buddy? Yeah? Mm. 
Thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this newborn swaddling video. Uh, please make sure you scroll down below to subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos, and please comment if you've got any other ideas for topics or you've got any questions for me. Thanks and have a great day.